This video is long overdue. It's our most requested video. We're finally gonna give you a review of the Janome HD9 sewing machine, especially for bag making. Welcome back to Country Cow Designs. I'm Jo, and me and my husband Adam design bag sewing patterns for bag makers. So in this video, I'm just gonna chat to you about my Janome HD9. I've had it now for almost a year. We did a video on why I chose this particular machine, which I'll link now. Um, but I also just now wanted to let you know how I got on and what I think of this sewing machine. So just recently, these are some of the materials I've been working with. Um, we've got a cotton water resistant canvas and cork, um, a polyester waterproof canvas and corduroy, and genuine leather and quilting cotton. So these are just some of the fabrics that I've been using and sewing on the Janome and this machine has been brilliant. So what we're gonna do, Adam's gonna do like a little interview thing with me, ask me a few questions, and I'm gonna try and answer all the questions that you guys have put to us over the last 10 or 11 months. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, if you've got any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If you don't already follow us, feel free to subscribe and then you'll get notified when our next sewing tutorials are available. So let's get started. So this video is actually in collaboration with Emma from Studio 77. Um, she is doing a review of her Janome HD9 at the exact same time. So I'm gonna link her video now, um, or maybe in the video description, depending how it works. And you can watch that as well, because what we wanted to do is give you like two different opinions from two different bag makers and two different bag designers to see, um, you know, cover all of the aspects basically. Well, so Adam. well, Joe, <laughs> this video has taken so long to make. Mm. One of the reasons is ever since we converted our loft into the sewing room, you have been making bags nonstop. Yeah, I have. It's been great. And as a result, the room's always a complete mess now. So when you see it on camera, it's been a frenzy to try and tidy the place up. But it's usually everything. I mean, at the moment, the room's a real mess, but everything's behind the camera. <laughs> Uh, but it means we can now finally talk about your Janome HD9, which you've had for just almost a year, haven't you? Yes, yeah. So you mentioned when we did the intro, we did a video explaining why Joe chose this, but just very, very quickly, what was the main reason why you chose the HD9? So if I'm totally honest, um, I wanted a straight stitch machine. You know, I didn't want an industrial and I didn't want a pure domestic. I wanted a straight stitch machine. This was literally the only straight stitch machine in stock in the whole of the UK. And the only one that seemed like it was gonna be in stock in the coming months. So yeah, that's how I ended up with Janome. Mm. Yeah. I wanted the older edition, um, I think it's the 1660. Um, but when I contacted the only shop that seemed to have it, they said they didn't, didn't actually have it in stock, they only had this. So I managed to haggle myself a bargain and yeah, I ended up with this beauty. Mm. So, in your time of owning it, I know you've made a ton of bags mm. on it, plus some other things like cushions and so forth. Yeah. What sort of fabrics have you been using on HG9? Um, and what's been your favorite? Okay, so I've been using quilting cotton, canvas, cotton waterproof canvas, and polyester heavyweight waterproof canvas, cork, faux leather, Vinyl, genuine leather, wax canvas. I think the only thing I haven't done is clear vinyl, you know, like the sticky vinyls or the jet uh, jelly matte vinyls, that kind of thing. I haven't tried any of those. Mm -hmm. They're just not really the kind of fabrics that I gravitate toward. Yeah. But I've had great success with all the others. Um, a lot of you, if you're, especially if you're in the UK, you've probably used Mora faux leather, which you get from So Hot. And this machine loves it. It works great. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that. You get like a really even stitch. It doesn't stick at all. Even though it's not got a walking foot, it just, it doesn't stick. It's just gorgeous to sew with. Yeah. And actually yeah. I've used your machine, haven't I? Yes. Because my machine, the Sailrite here, it's heavy industrial, which will do anything, 
But you have to adjust it when you want to move to lighter fabrics, like for lining. Yeah. So I've used your machine, and actually I've really enjoyed it. And the quiver sling tutorial, which we did a few weeks ago, I sewed the whole bag, didn't I, in yeah. that tutorial on that machine. And I don't use it a lot, but it's very easy. It's very user-friendly, isn't it, with all the fabrics you use? Yeah, it feels like it's suitable for anyone. It's just yeah. so, so user-friendly, yeah. yeah. So that's been nice, isn't it? So I guess that perhaps leads on to your old machine, the yeah. Benina 930, which was a 1980s domestic sewing machine, yeah. which you used prior. What's been the main difference? Um, so the big difference, if you've watched my video about sewing bags on a domestic machine, you'll see me talking about um, changing your needle regularly and loads of different things like that. Making sure that you're using the right needle, making sure that you've got the right press of it on. This machine is much more forgiving, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I don't have to change my needle anywhere near as often. I never really think about what needle I've got in it. I just sew, I just start, and it does a great job. It ends up like sewing really neat stitching. The stitches are always even. I don't have to worry about trying to feed it through, making sure that it's going through evenly. Um, it's just super easy. But you know, one of the things I love about it, I absolutely love, um, is that you can wind a bobbin without unthreading your machine. So threading it is like a little bit more long-winded than a normal domestic, but I can just leave it threaded and then just put another reel of thread on and do it, make a bobbin when I run out. Um, and that's, I find really, really handy. Cool, okay. Uh, and I guess also uh, you've sewn leather on this, haven't you? Which yes. your Benina would never have done. Not a chance, yeah. So the... I mean, this thing just chomps through the layers, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it doesn't argue, it just it just does it. Yeah, there are limits to it. <laughs> yeah, whereas but... my Benina used to complain, yeah. really, you know, yeah. she'd moan, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so I'm going through questions here that uh, we're trying to make sure we cover everything. Um, so that's the Benina. Now you have used my sail, right? Which yep. is a full blown industrial. Uh, how does that compare to my machine? Okay, so for me, I prefer the Janome. It's... Whatever. I prefer my machine, yeah, but that's, I'm biased. <laughs> but you sew a lot of leather. I'm yeah. not sewing like, Adam sews like thick, genuine leather. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I wanna, I wanna make stuff out of all the pretty fabrics. Um, yeah, so that feels really industrial, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, the walking foot is amazing, but it feels so industrial. This feels a lot more user-friendly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I really, really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. To be honest, the fact that we still have, uh, in, off camera here, we still have the old Benina 930 for your really light stuff, the zigzag stitches. We've got this and we've got this. We're actually really fortunate oh, yeah. to have all these machines. You know, obviously it's part of our work and it's taken a few years to gather all these, but we are fortunate that doesn't go amiss with us. Mm. Um, so what threads have you been using? What needles, all that sort of stuff? Okay, so um, threads, uh, I've got a lot of different ones. Let's have a look. Um, Coates Moon Threads Polyester, which is very similar to like Gutemann Polyester. Um, this is just your basic thread. This works really well on the machine, absolutely no problems. Um, I have used, oh, what's it called? Aman Sabertex 40 thread. That is great. That well, I get well from remembered. Little Stitch <laughs> Sews. Yeah, that's like um, a slightly thicker, strong, stronger polyester. Works brilliantly. Then I have used Bonded Polyester Tex 45. This is also from Little Stitch of Sews. Um, this is really, really like strong because it's bonded polyester. So it's great for bag making, really strong stuff. This works brilliantly. Again, I just use it through the standard thread feeder, but then it has a separate thread feeder when I want to use Tex 70, which is even thicker. Well, Tex se tech 70 use. is generally something you would use with an industrial machine. So yeah. the fact that this can do that as well is that's quite a good bonus. Yeah, so you thread it differently through the machine and then you change the tension a little bit and it, it sews it just fine. Um, but I think my favorite is like the Tex 40, Tex 45. Really nice and strong, but not quite so thick because I just don't enjoy the super thick stuff. But if you are looking to use Tex 70, I've used it 
in the bobbin as well as on the top. And it's worked just fine. Well, it's got a slightly bigger bobbin than a standard domestic, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got so, a jumbo bobbin. Jumbo yeah. bobbin. Yeah. I still run out when I'm sewing, but as yeah, we all do. not quite as often. Actually, if you see our next upcoming tutorial for the Meridius, <laughs> the first sewing machine scene, the bobbin runs out. Almost straight away, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it happens to all of us. And um, what about needles? What sort of sizes have you been using? So I've got really lazy with this machine because it's so forgiving and I almost always just stick in a Microtex size 90. Um, when I'm using genuine leather, so I'm genuine leather, I've changed to a leather needle. Yeah. But the Janome actually has like these special needles just for this. And um, I haven't even used them yet. I've got a pack that came with it. They're like even stronger than normal ones. But to be honest, I've just carried on using my domestic machine needles because I had so many and they work brilliantly. So yeah, if you've used the Janome specialist ones for this, go ahead and leave us a comment. Let us know what, what they're like, if there's any difference, if you noticed anything. Um, so perhaps I can lead on to what sort of like extras, other bits have you bought? What would you recommend mm. that someone gets with this machine as well? My extension table is probably my favorite thing. I'm really glad I got this. Mm. This was expensive. I think it was like a hundred pounds. Um, but it just makes the like work surface yeah. so much bigger. So I'll just take it off to show you. Just knock Adam's tea out of the way. I mean, to be honest, that stays on your machine all the time, doesn't it? Yeah. It never comes off. All the time. Um, you can probably tell from all the fluff. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so it makes the work surface so much bigger. Uh, that I would definitely recommend if you can yeah. afford to get it. Um, for the zipper feet, I have, sorry, for the presser feet, I have a zip foot for each side. They were really cheap. I think it was five pound per foot or something. Um, they are great. I also have the narrow foot, which is really good when you're sewing zips and you just want like a, mm. the, the presser foot to go alongside the teeth and guide you so you don't actually have to like keep a straight line. Um, what else do I have? I've got my notes, see. Oh yes, a stand for bigger threads. But I just got this one off Amazon. Um, to be honest, I really thought the machine came with one, but I haven't been able to find it. So I got one of these because I just could not get my bigger thread spools. We may have lost it. It is possible. These ones. Um, I couldn't get this to work without it. So yeah, I got this from Amazon. I think this was like eight pounds, something like that. I think you can get them from your normal sewing shops as well. So I know the machine is pretty expensive on its own. It's, I think it's like 1300 pounds right now, which is a lot. Um, but having the little extras makes it like just so much more practical, more usable, so. You can use it more, which means you get more value for your money. So no point having a machine you can't use. Yeah. yeah. And if you're getting it from a shop that supplies all the other extras, you can haggle, 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 you oh, know, sure when, you, you when you get in the machine. Yeah. Try to get it all included. So perhaps that's changed tack now and say, is there anything you hate about the machine or that you would definitely change? Um, okay. One thing I really hate, it's stupid, but it's got this automatic thread cutter, which is great because um, when you're done, you click it and it makes a horrendous noise and it cuts the threads for you, but it obviously can't cut right down to the fabric. So it leaves these tiny little threads, two tiny little threads. And whenever I finish with my bags, there's just these tiny little threads everywhere. And I just have to sit there for like, few minutes just snipping them all off <laughs> um so yeah that really bugs me but in practicality i'm sure that's it's actually better to have that you know you're not like where am i where are my scissors trying to snip it um what else is there anything else i don't like about it hmm. you're thinking really hard about this which is a I good am. sign <laughs> i'm thinking really hard i feel like there must be something that i'm not a fan of but no i can't think so um yeah, pretty much. I really like it. The only thing I don't use at all on it is the thread guider that will thread the needle for you mm -hmm. because I guess I tend to use like size 90 and above needles. They've got such a big eye that it's not a problem for me, but um, it looks really easy to use when they showed me how to use it in the shop. That's all it is based then. You don't really have many problems with it at all, do you really? No, not really. I haven't had any problems. The tension's super easy. Yeah, everything's quite straightforward, really. 
So I guess we could say you love your machine and you're very happy with it and no regrets buying it? No, no, Good. no. No regrets. So uh, if someone's watching our video and they're interested in buying this machine, I know you've already kind of touched on it, but what's some advice you would give if somebody wanted this particular machine? Okay. So first of all, if this is gonna be your only machine, be absolutely sure that you are not ever gonna need a zigzag stitch or any other kind of stitch because all it does is go straight. It's extremely good at what it does because it only does one thing. Um, so if you will sometimes be doing other things like sewing garments and things and you need like other stitches, then this isn't gonna work. But if you've already got a domestic machine that does that, <laughs> that's great, you know? Or if you're only making bags, Fantastic. Be sure that you don't want an industrial machine because if you want to be like sewing lots of leather, like thick leather and things, and you want to sew through absolutely anything, then you might as well just get an industrial machine. Like Adam's Sailrite, there's tons of them out there. They're very similar price to these. Sometimes they're even cheaper. Yeah. And um, they're a lot more like mechanical, aren't they? Yeah. But they will sew through absolutely anything. So just check that you wouldn't be better suited to one of those. Check out the other straight stitch machines available to you. Um, for me, this was the only one at the time in the UK, but there are other options. So just check them out, see what, like compare them, see what different things they've got, anything unique to them, um, the reviews, things like that. And if you can, absolutely try one mm. in person because it's a massive investment and you don't wanna get it and then decide, actually, I really don't enjoy this. Um. I think that covers everything. Everything I've got written down here anyway. Yeah, I think that's about everything. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. But overall, yep, if you're bag making, this is a great machine for it. Yeah. Um, and as we said at the beginning, this video is in collaboration. With uh, Emma of Studio 77. Who's another big HD9 fan. So uh, check out her video. Um, you will notice in Britain, clearly there's a thing with Janome being the biggest straight stitch machine. Yeah, like Spencer Rogg uses one, doesn't she? And, um, yeah. yeah, and um, uh, our Jeff makes, she uses one, and Sewing Patterns by Mrs. H uses one. Yeah, it was... And Laura of Little Stitcher Sews. So yeah, um, when it comes to straight stitch machines in Britain, these are generally the only ones that you can get hold of, and they're great. Yeah, So brilliant. So uh, thank you, Joe, for finally making this video. I've been hassling her for well, a couple of months, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe, we've got another email asking when your review's coming out. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do it. I want to make more bags. <laughs> <laughs> Joe loves making bags. So because of that, trying to get her down to record anything on video is actually really, really hard. Um, so I really hope you appreciate us making this video for you. <laughs> Let's show them the bag that I'm halfway through right now. Okay, so this isn't even one of our patterns. This is um, a pattern by Hold It Right There. It's the first time I've done one of her patterns and I just am trying out the water resistant canvas that we're gonna be stocking from October. Um, I love this pattern though, it's really nice. Her patterns are really clear. Um, do you know how I found this? I was Googling Meridius for our next pattern. That's what our next pattern's called. <coughs> and um, this came up because it's called Meridian. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a coincidence. Um, yeah, so this I'm making on the Janome. It's got cork, it's got water resistant cotton canvas, it's got wax canvas, and it's got quilting cotton on the inside. Oh, it's just so lovely to sew with, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you Joe, for <laughs> being interviewed. Um, and yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy future tutorials, which will mostly be on the Janome, but occasionally I convince Joe to do one, well, so I sew it on the sale right. Yeah. Uh, so that will appear in the future. And if you are interested in the sale right, I've actually done two videos on this, on that machine, haven't I? Um, you're so much you, better at doing reviews than me, that's what you're saying. Well, I'll try to. Um, <laughs> so you can see what uh, our views of that one as well. Thanks for joining us and see you soon. Bye. Take care.